It's a game changing car. It was when it came out and it still is. It really is. It's unlike anything else that anybody has ever built. A lot of people claim to build race cars or street cars. They make a bunch of power, but it's the way this car goes about its business that makes it special. It puts all that power to the ground. It does it effortlessly. It has an RPM potential that's just amazing. The shifts, the fact that you can shift the car in milliseconds and not have to lift the throttle. You know how much time's wasted in manually shifting a car, right? How much energy, getting off the throttle, the car slows down, getting back on the throttle, the shock to the drive line. All that doesn't exist in this car. Uh, welcome to Timeless Customs. My name is Jason Pesaconis, and uh, today we're here to talk a little bit about my business, what we do here at Timeless Customs, the cars we build, and the products we use. Timeless Customs, we are a boutique car building shop, right? We build small quantities of one-off cars. At the end of the day, they're pretty. Everyone wants a pretty car. They want a nice straight car. They want gap fitment that's really cherry and stuff like that. But I want people to get in our cars and go drive them and walk away thinking to themselves, man, this car drove so good. And that's important to me. And you know, it's hard to make a suit fit everybody, you know, but I want, for instance, this car, I want people to be able to get in this car and experience the same fit the same suit that I wear, you know, fit the same way. So there's certain cars that you drive and they stand out in your mind. And that's what I want. I want, I want you to think about driving what we build. A car to me always comes down to ergonomics, right? The way that suit that you go out and you pay top dollar for fits you, how it was tailored to you, right? Well, a car in my life, a car should be the same way, right? I look at a car as a suit tailored to you or a glove tailored just to your hand, right? So when you get in that car, you want the driving position to be correct. You want the steering wheel placement to be correct. You want the shifter to fall to your hand. You want the pedals to be arranged so that you can heel and toe shift the car if it's a manual. You want the way things are laid out to go about your business to be comfortable, right? There's nothing worse than getting in a car that's beautiful and not being able to drive it the way you expect it to be driven, you know? So to me, this has evolved more into a, how can I make the people who are driving my cars feel like we've tailored this car just for them? Then, hey, how can I give my client a beautiful car? I want the emotion of driving the car to stir them more than looking at their car. I want them to go drive their car as opposed to go to a car show and have people look at their car. I want them to be thinking that night after they drove their car, man, I had such a great drive today. You stirred someone's emotions, right? And that, that to me is, is what building cars is about, you know? I mean, you can get lost in paint jobs and lost in body work and lost in wheels and lost in all these things, but the reality is, is if all those things don't play in harmony, what do you really have? You really have nothing that, you just have a piece of art that people, or you want people to look at, or you want to look at. And a lot of these cars end up in people's garages, and they do, they'll just look at their cars, you know, or they'll show their friends their cars. I want you to get out and want to drive that car by yourself on a canyon road in the middle of the morning where nobody's out, just because you're, all you're thinking about is that drive, right? And I think that's lacking. You know, and the crazy thing is, is we're at such a great time in the industry to have so many fantastic components to be able to pick from, you know? We have crate motors that make 750 horsepower. We have brake systems off of supercars. We have all these things at our hands to play with and to incorporate into our builds. So it's how far can you push? How far can you push the envelope to incorporate these things to get that experience? This car was an opportunity that a lot of people never get, you know? It's crazy because you have to remember this car is a complete one-off car, right? It was designed, built, engineered in a 10-month window. And really, the car has very little shakeout, meaning we spent very little time tuning the car. We spent a day autocrossing the car, setting up our shock package. And for the most part, that's how this car runs. That, to me, is a huge accomplishment because 
The reality is, is we don't have millions of dollars to engineer a car, like a Porsche GT3 Cup car, right? We don't have the millions of dollars that goes into designing and R&Ding and all these things. So we try to, once again, incorporate parts that we know are the best of the best because we're expecting they're gonna play a part in creating something that's amazing, right? But people don't really understand how hard it is to make a car like this perform at a level like this when it really doesn't have the money or the R&D or the company backing that a factory Porsche Cup car or Porsche GT3 car has, right? So I'm proud of this car and what it is because of that, because you know we're just a bunch of guys in a shop in the middle of California and we put together cars that I think are very capable and they don't have the money or the backing that a big company has to do it. You know, I hope to continue to, to obviously be passionate about this, right? That's something that sometimes you, you tie something you're doing for a living into your passion, you can get things awry. And I think that it's great to drive this car again today for me. It gives me a sense of, man, I remember, I needed that kick in the pants to remind myself, this is why we do this, right? Because the day-to-day -day stuff can get so overwhelming, right? But the reality is, is I truly am passionate about this and I always have been and I haven't lost that passion and I'll continue to do this until I can't do it any longer, right? So in five years, I hope to see us in the same spot. We'll just be talking about a different car.